so I was accused of being a hot mess and wanting attention. So I just want to address my critic and first of all say that we are all a hot mess in some way, shape, or form. So, yeah, I'm a hot mess, but no more of a hot mess than this critic that hid behind a Facebook post. Second, as far as attention goes, I don't seek that much attention. I have a big personality, and I feel that God has given me that for a reason. He also gives me that persona to help share my life and my experiences and my revelations with the world. He's made me a unique individual and he's made me exactly the way he sees me and the way he loves me. Um, as an author, I will continue to write many more books and they will become more controversy. They will become more political. They will become more romantic. But I'm not a one-trick pony. I don't just write one type of book. Second, I've spent years trying to love myself 100% and accept my flaws. And at 50, when I turned 50 in May this year, I have finally reached that point to where I am satisfied and like my flaws and my imperfections. And if you don't, that's your hang up, no longer mine. Thirdly, I believe we all are unique and should leave a legacy. We'll all leave some kind of legacy, whether it's good or bad, whether it's somewhere in the middle, it's an ongoing thing. But we can change our destiny and the kind of legacy that we leave. And four, finally, as a jewelry maker, I think I do pretty good. This is my, by far, my all-time favorite piece of jewelry I've done so far. So have a blessed day and know that God is with you and you can get through anything. I didn't get this gray hair because life was simple or easy. But I'm willing to get pick my feet up and go forward. In Jesus' name, I will always go forward.